Okay, here's all the parts that we're gonna be putting on. All right, we got a melling pickup oil pickup tube. Here's the part number. Got a few gaskets, timing cover gasket, belt bro, oil pan gasket, belt bro. We got a melling. M365 HV. All right, there's the part. Got a new timing chain. Right here. New uh, cam thrust plate. Right there. New crank gear. Timing chain tensioner. All right. New oil con oil control valve. All right. New cam sprocket. There's a number. All right. We have a few other things. Uh, some new universal joints. I'm gonna put on for the front drive shaft. I'm just I just got some for the back drive shaft too. I got this off Amazon for around fifty dollars. It's a uh, timing cover uh, alignment tool. All right, it comes here so you can, you can uh, align your the oil pan to the cover. All right, this just slips onto the crank crankshaft. This one's for the rear seal, rear main seal at the back. So yeah, there's the parts that's going on. All right. There we go, we got the P0011 code. And I'm thinking that this maybe needs to be changed out. I checked the timing chain on the truck. It's not it's not loose or anything, it's got a tensioner on it. So but we're gonna replace all this. Okay, there it is. Okay, here we go. Here's the axle right here. All right, just have these ratchet straps on, runs underneath. All right, all I'm gonna do when I do this, I'm just gonna lower the strap down slowly and hold the one end, and it should lower right, right to the ground here. All right, no problem. Okay, I just got the harmonic balancer off. I use this tool. OMT Orion. Right here. I got that off Amazon for $50, $60. So I just got that off. Alright, took the water pump and everything off. Right here. Got the water pump here. Got the front differential here. All right. You can see underneath here. It's all ready to go. All right. I'm gonna start taking the uh, start taking the oil pump off. Right there. Start taking the harness down. Start unbolting everything. All right. All right, so I got this oil pan off. All right, here we go. That's what it looks like. I'm surprised that it has a um, plug here, this valve, because the truck doesn't have any AFM or anything. I didn't, I didn't know if that was gonna have it on it, but it does. I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do with that. All right, look at the. Look at the garbage that's in here. Look at that. Wow. Just like, just like junk. Glad I got this off. All right, so I'm gonna put some degreaser on here and I'm gonna let it sit for a little while and then I'm gonna power wash it, clean it all up clean all these parts up really well 
All right, and here's the, here's the, uh, I got everything Here apart on the engine. Got everything apart. Okay. Wasn't too bad. It was actually all right. There's, uh, I took the air conditioning tensioner off to get that bottom bolt out. All right, I got underneath done. Some wild working conditions here. See? Okay, I don't want to make any videos of actually working on the car because I notice these videos take forever. They come out to be about 30 minutes. So I don't want to do that. Just highlighting some areas, that's what it looks like. Okay. All right, got it underneath, I'm replacing all that, the tube and everything. So, there it is. All right. All right, check this out. Let's see. This is exactly how it came off the vehicle. Okay. So, I was idling hot idle around 10 PSI. There's the issue, right there. It's exactly how it came off. So the O-ring was cracked. The dealership said that they replaced, I, I got some work done to this truck when I got it on the road, when I bought it for the first time, which was a long t time ago. It maybe had 200,000 on it, less than that. And this is it. They said they replaced the oil pan and I figured, all right, well, they're gonna replace the O-ring on the pickup tube, but it doesn't look like it. That's from, looks like from the factory. Okay, so this was, this was also an issue. I'm still gonna put the oil pump on it. The high volume oil pump. All right, here it is. Well, well, I guess the timing chain does have some play. All right, check this out. Not sure if that if that's uh, the regular play. It has a tensioner on it. I figure that the tensioner would keep it tight. All right, this truck has three hundred thousand miles, so I'm not sure if it. If that play is normal, if that much play is normal. All right. Wow, well, I wanna, wanted to show this on the video. Before I get this apart, I just noticed trying to take this Getting about to take this off, I just noticed this. You see the timing chain tensioner? All right, the pin's supposed to be going up here. Keep it, pin goes up here, okay? All right, so you look down the tensioner. Look at this. It's cracked. Look at, I just seen this when I seen it. It actually, see if I can get it to go again. It was actually, look, it actually slipped out like that. I just noticed it was out like this. Slipped out. Look at that. So, there you go. 300,000 miles. Time for a timing job. Okay, I'm using this bearing puller to take the crank sprocket off. I'm not gonna pry it or anything like that. All right, I'm gonna take that off. Okay, got the thrust plate off. 
This thing is absolutely flattened. Gasket. It even looks like it was leaking a little bit. All right. There it is. Going back on. New one. Okay, I got the cam thrust plate back on. The timing chain tensioner and the crank sprocket onto the chain and the VV to VV VVT cam sprocket. So here's what's left of the old timing chain tensioner. It's actually pretty bad. It was originally it was it looked like it was cracked and then I started taking it off and it just shattered. So brittle. 300,000 miles. All right, there it is. You can see the wear grooves on it as well. All right. Okay, I just torqued this bolt. From everything I read, the sprocket bolt is 55 foot pounds and then a 50 degree turn for the final pass. All right, there it is. You just gotta get one of those uh, flywheel, flywheel lockers. I got it off Amazon for $25. You bolt it up where the starter goes and you'll have no problems at all. Here's the torque wrench. And you wanna have one of these because it'll make your job a lot easier. All right. Got the oil pump and pickup tube on. Got everything aligned. You just finger tight the oil pump bolts and then once they're finger tight uh you give the crank a one spin one circle 360 degrees and then tighten up your bolts it should be aligned got the pickup tube on this is 106 foot pounds for the pickup tube and uh 18 foot pounds for the oil pump pretty sure 18 for these bottom bolts 18 foot pounds that's a new pickup tube. All right. Okay, here I got the cover back on using the alignment tool. As you can see, this alignment tool fits in there good. Uh, the seal's not in yet, so it fits in with the, the seal. It's all bolted and torqued. See how nice, moves freely. So when you know when it's aligned up pretty good, Okay. Here. The bottom. The bottom has that alignment on it. All right. All right. All right. I'm about to put the pan back on. I went ahead and got a new uh, pressure relief valve. And I picked up the I picked up the deflector. Uh, the pressure relief valve was twenty-four dollars. The deflector was five dollars. So come to twenty-nine dollars for the both of them. Put a new one of those in. Keep the got the deflector, keep the oil, oil, excess oil in the pan. Alright, just about to put this oil pan on. All right, moment of truth right here. I unhooked the fuel injectors from the fuse box. I unhooked the fuel pump relay and I unhooked the coil packs. Just uh, prime it a couple times.
right now I'm gonna install the fuses back in with the uh, I'm gonna hook up the coil All packs. Right, I got everything hooked back up. Uh, I might take a couple tries to get it going again, but I'm gonna try it. Here it is, first startup. gauge is reading 63 psi oil pressure it's got fresh oil it's got a fresh uh, oil filter I put the relief valve in the pan so if there's any needed relief there and it'll be there so it's fired on all cylinders Looks like oil PSI is sitting right at 61. Seems to be idling and uh, running good. So we're gonna let this warm up real good. I'm gonna put the cover back on. Take it for a ride. Let it warm up really good first. Get the coolant aired out. All right. There it is, first startup. This truck has been down roughly two weeks. I work Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And I had it in this small garage out here. And it's been out here now. I worked on it last week. Uh, today is Tuesday. I waited for the thermostat to come in from Amazon. And I just got everything back together. All right, I'm gonna see how it is. All right, so it's up and running. It's at uh, operating temperature. And here we go. Here's the, here's the oil pressure. 29, 30. Around 30 PSI, I would say. That's probably a steady. Uh, before the oil pump, before the uh, oil ring, it was sitting around 10 PSI. 12 to 10 PSI oil pressure. All right, so we're gonna see how this goes. Right now, right now it has 308,000 miles. All right, we 
just did a timing refresh on this truck. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear the codes and uh, see how it goes. All right, my last part of this video is going to be the final update video after I uh, drive it for a while and see how it goes. All right. All right, here we go. It's operating temperature. I put about uh, maybe not even 100 miles on it. All right. Oil pressure's come back down, 21 PSI. So we're gonna see how it goes. 22, all right. Okay, here we go, guys. Oil pressure sitting at 30 PSI, 33. just under operating temperature it runs around 25 psi a little higher than 25 psi all right i put roughly 400 miles on it and it runs good runs runs beautiful so that was the fix um and that's it uh it's probably fifteen hundred dollars in parts it took me it took me roughly i would say about 15 to 16 hours of straight working all right so it's not it's not the easiest job but it's not the hardest job either all right so there you go got good oil pressure this truck the light the light has not come on what happened was the light blipped maybe once but when i first got it done but i think that was some kind of relearn so with 300,000 miles i would i wouldn't think that this truck runs like that this truck doesn't run people think like oh ek you got high miles on your vehicle it's you know this and that no you just take care of it all right so this was fifteen hundred dollars roughly in parts with the oil pump and the, the pickup tube and i put some other things on it like the front differential mounts i ended up getting a differential off and then uh <clears throat> i changed the mounts uh yeah so was, i'll put a list up i'll put a list up right after this and uh you'll see the parts that i that i uh put on all right, runs perfect, runs beautiful. Back up, no cam sensor light, no cam issue. I'll put up another image of the uh, cam, the cam learning. So it used to drop off after a while, after so many miles, and it would heat up. And uh, the the cam, everything, the cam readings would just basically drop off, and it wouldn't read it, wouldn't read the reading. I don't know if it's because it just showed too many faults. If it was, if the placement was out by too far for too long. So, all right, here it is though. No light, hasn't had a light on. Runs good. <laughs>